Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how to use other types of Python objects in your templates. So right now, what we already learned is that we can pass simple variables into your template and we passed in like a username. We can also pass in, I don't know, a simple integer like a user's age or ID number. But what happens when we wanna pass a more complex object like an entire Python list? Can we do that? And if so, how is it done? Well, in this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a really simple web page and we're gonna pass in a list of food and we'll say that it's like a user shopping list or something and then we'll loop through it and then display it on a web page. So let's first make a new template and we'll just name this like a shopping.html. So this will be their shopping list and let me copy this. So we'll work on that in just a second. That's gonna be the template, but for now, let's go ahead and take care of the back end, the routing. So let me just copy this because I'm lazy. And we'll just name the page shopping. All right, so whenever the user goes to this URL, what we wanna do is we wanna make a function shopping. And now, since you know the entire point of this web page is to display a grocery list, let's just go ahead and make a list. So I'm just gonna say like a cheese. Uh, what else is on my list? Uh, tuna and beef. Looks like this person has a very healthy diet. Cheese, tuna, and beef. All right. So we have a list. How do we throw it in to our template? Well, I don't even need to copy that. I'm not that lazy. All right. So render template, what HTML template are you gonna use? Well, we're just gonna use shopping the HTML. And just like any other variable, we're actually just gonna pass it right in. So now, whenever we do this, your shopping template basically has access to this food variable, which is a list. So you usually just don't wanna print this out because I don't know, it just is gonna look ugly to the user. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an unordered list and we're gonna loop through our Python list and print each one out as an item. So let's just go ahead and start out with an unordered list. Now inside here, we're gonna loop through food and print out each item. Now remember I said, any time that you have non-HTML in your template, what you wanna do is you wanna surround it with a curly brace and those percent signs. This means that don't read this as HTML, interpret it as Python or Flask. So we'll say for item and food, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna loop through this list three different times, and it's gonna treat each item as item. So there you go, and before I continue, I just need to signify the end of my loop by writing N4. So inside here, we can just basically write plain old HTML. So list item, and remember, each time, we're just gonna print out the item. So the first time it loops, it's gonna be equal to cheese. The second time, it's gonna be equal to tuna, and the third time, it's gonna be equal to beef. So now let me go ahead and run this. And what was my URL shopping? So shopping right there. So cheese, tuna, and beef. And of course, if we ever want to go back and add another item like uh, toothpaste and restart that and everything should work beautifully. So again, Whenever we use Flask, we are not only limited to passing in strings and integers. We can also pass more complex Python objects like lists and our templates are gonna be able to handle those fine as well. So again, we are now understanding the power of Flask, learning all the cool things that we can do with it. And I'm not sure what we're gonna be covering in the next tutorial, but as always, it's gonna be freaking awesome. So I'll see you guys then.